Yogi Berra hits one. And I love baseball. I really do. I always told my dad, I said, Dad, I ain't going to make it work. <laughs> I said, I like to play ball too much, and, which I did. We played hard. We, uh, you got to work at this game. You really do. And, uh, and it's fun doing it if you do it the right way. It's a great Yogi Berra. New this well. morning at 90, passing yeah. away. At 90. Uh, Willie Geist, uh, a storied baseball career, 14 of his 18 seasons in the World Series. And, oh, by the way, he fought uh, in D-Day, Normandy Beach. Yeah, he's a great American story. He, his family were immigrants from uh, Italy, moved to St. Louis, dropped out of school in eighth grade and just started playing baseball and basically never stopped. Also, I think because he was such a character, we all know the it ain't over till it's over, all those expressions, his career is a little bit overshadowed as maybe the or at least one of the two or three greatest catchers of all time. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And a wonderful man, by the way. Yeah. Just a wonderful man. Yogi Berra, Tim Russett, and I were on the field. That clip from the All-Star game in Philadelphia. And uh, Tim asked Yogi Berra about his career, traveling by train, his teammates all those years in the major leagues. And he had a roommate. He said, my favorite roommate was Whitey Ford, who was a pitcher who was standing next to Yogi right Hall then. Of fame pitcher, on the yeah. field, Hall of Fame pitcher. My job, asking Whitey Ford, I said, was Yogi your favorite roommate? And Whitey Ford looked at Yogi Berra, looked at me, looked at Tim, and said, no, Angie Dickinson was. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Brings it together. We're going to have much more Whitey in his Ford. life coming up. On